Alright, how's it going? This is Korolf, and welcome back to Frostpunk. So our scouts have just arrived. Um, pulled them back. Uh, pulling everyone in for the storm incoming. Um, advanced coal mine research and additional scouts. Right. Well, <laughs> I don't think additional scouts is going to be useful at this time. Sorry guys. Thank you for the research. Um, yeah, an advanced coal mine, three steam cores. We only have four, so we'd, we'd be able to convert one, but I haven't actually decided one of our people died. Oh. That's too bad. I wonder how that happened. At any rate, yeah, I wasn't sure, um what to do with the additional steam cores, whether it'd be better to um, keep them for infirmaries or you know, maybe upgrade the wall drill, but I don't know. Not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, so I think all we're really doing now is we're, we're pulling in our last outpost and they'll be here in a uh, eight hours and then that's pretty much it we've um well we'll finish off our research speed up time oh what's this prayers at work sir the people the people employed at this cookhouse refer refuse to work today they intend to spend the entire shift praying we've been working with madmen sir and there's only so much we can do to prepare let's face it this is the end of the world through prayers we can find the hope of deliverance, whatever happens. Yep. Yeah. That's fine. We'll let you guys pray. Really, I don't know if there's much we can really do. Left. Um, we do have 31 people, so we could build another um, coal thumper. That's what I'm thinking. Um, yeah, let's do that. Add a few more gathering posts. Oh, we're only going to be able to fit one in. I'm not sure if that's going to reach. Oh no, that should reach if we can put one up there. Might be able to sneak one in there as well. Okay. I'll let that be built and then we'll get these guys working. Um,. Yeah. Storms on the horizon. Day 39 it's going to hit. We're going to have two drops before then. Um, oh, generator is ready. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to queue some more technology. So that's actually heating all done. That's the end of that tech tree, so that's great. And I was also thinking of getting this, which is which will free up some engineers to um, staff a couple more gathering posts. Yeah, our consumption is still not as high as our what we're generating, so even with this we're still okay, I think. Yeah, so just kind of waiting for the storm at the moment, I think, and as well as trying to keep people from getting too hysterical about the freeze. <laughs> That's probably going to be the worst of it, really. That's, you know, everything else is, is probably going to be easy, but that's going to be the difficult part. People tend to do crazy things when they're scared. Let's see, let's build it. When this one... Uh, hmm. I was thinking I'll eventually move the sawmill out of the way, but I guess we'll keep it running until it's finished. Other thing I was thinking... Um, we actually may need more... Oh! Wow, that was done quick. Okay. Um, get to my thought in just a moment. Um, could build a factory, I guess. It's kind of late in the game at this point. 
Um, maybe let's go steal a steam coal thumpers. Uh, that'll actually give these another level of warmth. Or heating insulation, I should say. Oh, there's our outpost arrived. It's not coming from that one. It's coming from that one. Disband. Preparations finished. Now we just wait for the storm. Uh, may make a few more of these uh, resource depots just for coal and you know, I guess we can make it for steel. Not too worried if that caps out. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking. What I was saying was I was half wondering, now that we've got so much food, maybe moving this automaton over to the wall drill? Because the wall drill, yeah, even with the heater, having trouble keeping it above freezing so people are going to get sick working there. And really, I don't want to... Um, like, it's outside the steam hub, and I don't really want to build a steam hub just for it. So maybe that's one thing we will do, is just get this guy... Um, turn this guy off. Uh, I'm just going to move you over Mr. Automaton now, before, while I'm thinking about it, then we'll take a look at what this is. Fight over supplies, sir. An argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though, no, and though, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running high. Okay. Let's do a few more of these. We've actually got so many rations, I think. Yeah. Let's do that to help combat discontent and keep people, um... <sighs> keep people sane. Okay, so I guess the... Um, I did assign him. Yeah, there he goes. Tom Tom's gonna head over to the wall drill and start working there, and we can actually turn the heater off because it won't care. Save a little bit of heat. You're hot enough, so you don't need it on. Good. All right, so I'll pull you guys back in when uh, something interesting happens, but uh, I think for now we're basically just holding our breath, waiting for the storm. Oh, what's this? Whoa. Mob storms the stockpiles. Sir, a crowd of terrified people has stormed the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies. We managed to fight them off, but the demand wood for heating and to reinforce their homes will need 1,400 wood to supply everybody. Uh, in how much? 24 hours? Uh, oh. See, the, the problem here, people, is I don't... I don't think we can do that. I don't think I can fulfill that promise even if I wanted to. I mean, we just don't have 1,400 wood, and... I mean, we've got one wall drill, one sawmill, probably producing... I don't know. Maybe 20 wood per hour? 24 hours? 400 wood? Yeah, we don't, we don't have 1,000 wood right now, so we're not going to make it. Uh, sorry. The city's going to come first. We'll be okay, people. <laughs> Yeah, 500. Yeah, 7 per hour there. Oops, here we go. So yeah, yeah, 18 per hour. There's no way we'd make it to 1400. We would just get people upset. <sighs> don't like doing it, but, um, just don't have the wood. Yeah, let's turn this one on. Sermon. May do evening prayers as well.
Steam goals on but researched. Okay. After that, I think, um, cause the steam coal mine, um, uh, oops, wrong one. Steam coal thumper produces a ton of coal, enough for four gathering posts. We only have two at most, so let's go for efficient gathering. And we'll try to pick up as much of that as we can as well. Let's switch over all our coal thumpers that we can. And that one, and yeah, there's that one needs to be upgraded, right? There we go. We're still doing okay. Here comes the storm. Here comes the deep freeze. We're almost at it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, yep, storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city, and the generator creaks and groans with the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows, trembling lips utter words of prayer. The city must survive. Alright, here's the storm. Well, let's turn a few heaters on that I missed. And, oops, and let's... I'm going to shut off these buildings, because I'm kind of thinking that... Um, people are still going to try and go to work there, which means they're just going to be sitting in these absolutely freezing buildings because uh, you can't heat them. So, And most of them have placed out in the edge um, because they don't really need to be heated. So, yeah, I don't want a lot of people getting sick just because of that. All right, this should be the last of them. There we go. And just swing around. Oh, yeah. I realize that um, the factory can't produce um, prosthesis. I guess you need the technology first, which is odd. It's odd because in the tech tree... Ooh, hope is just taking a beating. Okay, let's see what... Um, yeah, we'll turn the sermon back on an hour. Um, I'll show you the tech tree in just a moment. I just want to make sure this gets queued. And I guess the other thing I was planning on doing is running these um, constantly to keep hope up. Come on, come on. There. Okay. Because uh, we got tons of food and I'm not too worried. <laughs> Maybe I should be. Um, yeah, so... Oops. Exploration. And yeah, so this one... You know, it'll cost less to make, but I thought the factory could automatically make them right away, but it turns out they make automatons right away. Ooh, it's getting loud. At least it's loud in my ears. Um, I may... Yeah, hopefully that's not too loud for the video. I'll probably have to adjust the, the um, sound settings a little bit, um, if it is. Okay, well... So here's the storm, lots of neat effects around, like a little frost ice effect around the edge of the screen, more than more than there was before, and the music is just it's just been kicked up a notch. <laughs> okay, so we'll go for streamline prosthesis. Because all the other ones are for automatons. Get that research done. Um I think we're still gaining on... Oh yeah, we've still got tons of coal coming in, so that's great. We may have to build more depots, but... For the moment, just see how it goes. Yeah, it's time just to gird ourselves and get through the storm. Oh man, this is so intense. <laughs> the wind is just howling. Um, you see, like, little drips of snow and frost coming down. That's awesome. Uh, okay, people get a little sick. Oh yeah, and I've noticed there's two requests ignored, and I realized that there's actually... Uh-oh, here's one right now. Um, there's actually a bug in the game that sometimes you'll hear the sound, but it doesn't. the icon doesn't show up, so you can't click on it. Oh man, that's loud. Um, 
So it's not that I've been intentionally ignoring anybody. I'm just going to click this in a moment. It's that I think I'm getting hit with that bug and I'm just not noticing. Well, it's not showing the icon, so I can't interact with it. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, danger of collapse. Sir, one of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger that the cold poses to our mines. Doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shafts is so cold now that the hydraulic roofing supports are starting to freeze. When they do, the tunnels will start collapsing. Okay. Um. Well, a six days worth of coal, if all coal production stopped... It actually, well, well, we'll have six days. Ooh, we got a lot more people sick. Um, man, okay, okay. Yeah, we're acute up ten prostheses. Um, and I realized what was wrong. I hadn't actually um, selected the prosthetics law. That's why I couldn't make prosthetics. Which seems odd that it needs to be a law to do that. I mean, it's just... I don't know. Whatever. It's a law. Maybe it's just gated um, down below other technology or other laws, and that's why they want it to down there. But anyways. Um, so we can make automatons. I don't really have a need for them, really, at the moment. I don't think. I think it's kind of just... Just gotta make it through the storm and see what comes. Oh, turn on heaters. Oh, here we go. Colder again. Let's take a look. Is there any place that needs to be... Oh, here we go. The mines are freezing. Sir, it's so cold. The hydraulic roof supports. Okay. We can either send in volunteers. Ten volunteers would send in each. The mines, some may die. Abandon the lower levels. Output from all coal mines fall by 80%. By 80%? Well, this is a safer option. I think we've got enough coal. Let's do it. Um, yeah, so they're not, they're not producing much anyways. And we've got... Oh, let's turn some of these on. We've got coal thumpers running around. Let's just see... Hmm. Okay, you're freezing and you've got your heater on. We'll come back to that in a moment. Just want to make sure we've got all of them on that can be on. I may actually decommission this one then. Um, oops. Okay, come on, click on you. Our field kitchen. Um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, people are going to start getting sick. Let's... None. And we're going to dismantle it and I'll move them over to... Oh, now i got to optimize prosthesis. <laughs> Let's move you guys over here. Um, is that one that got its heater? It does. Okay. Let's... Max this one out then. So we only got four people over there. I may have to decommission. Oops, I don't have a technology one. Okay, um. What to do? Well, we can boost the optimi coal optimization. Well, that's not going to do us a whole lot. Um. Yeah, maybe let's. Let's just work on that for good measure. I don't know. Cold at home. Ooh. Okay. Let's just look at the temperature map. And let's see what needs to be turned on. Okay. Risk of getting ill. 
Yeah, because what I'm worried about is people start getting sick, and it's just going to keep getting colder. Oops. Turn back time. It's just going to keep getting colder. What's our consumption like now? We're still outstripping our we're still outstripping our uh, usage. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's see. Oh, good. Let's do that. It's only 20 rations and we almost have 10,000. That is fine. Keep an eye on what's the next one. Okay, this will be ready soon. <laughs> Temple is still influencing people to mend their ways. <laughs> uh, sure. Oh, now what? Fear of coal shortage. Sir, people are scared about the coal shortage. Really? I think we're doing that bad, actually. Well, um, they want us to build two coal thumpers. Two more? I guess because the mines are shutting down. I don't think we can have the space to build coal thumpers. I could just build them and not staff them, I guess. It's kind of silly. We're going to make it anyways. We're going to make it, people. It's okay. We've got almost 30,000 coal. We're still producing more than we're using. Okay. How's it at home? Chilly. Okay. Still just chilly. Good. Wow. Okay, I'm just noticing how many sick people we have. Um, whew. Okay, yeah. Probably should have built more infirmaries. Um, let's see, where can I fit these in? They'll get some. They'll get hit by the heating zone. Not seeing anywhere. Maybe here. No, okay, so yeah, the steam hub lights up when it's within range. Okay. <laughs> is this thing done yet? It's got five. Okay. Let's just decommission that. We'll build the infirmary. And we will also... Still got tons of food. Let's do this. Extra food rations for everybody. We'll get these people uh, healed faster. And do it at all the places. Uh, let's see, where else do we have? House of Healing. And there's something else over here. Oh yeah, there's another infirmary over here. I think I've got the... Um... Oh, okay. Oh man, I thought I went around and made sure all the heaters were on, but I guess I missed a couple. Minus 110. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so... Infirmary. Good. We'll put one there. And... That's sick. Okay, let's build that. Um... Coal theft, people. Someone sold 2,805 coal. Ah, uh, sometimes egoism or simply fear sways people. Well, we're gonna make it. Oh, let's turn on. Yeah, let's turn on this one. Boom. Hit that discontent down and keep pumping up the hope. It's not, um,. It seems like it's stopping some of these events, but anyways, we've still got 25,000 coal, I think it'll still be okay. <sighs> okay, let's get this thing built and staffed. We have, we'll need one more engineer. Um, let's just find a spot that's got engineers. Yeah. So I think I only need five now to staff these. The music is just going. It's getting tense. 
Ah, oh, this place is freezing with everything going. Let's, um... Yeah, let's shut it down. And... I think there's anywhere else that need to be staffed. There. Get that. Turn the heater on, and... Waiting for workers, then I can turn that on. Okay. Okay, okay. Good, we've only got eight sick people. Um, and steelworks are freezing. We've got almost 2,000 steel. Let's shut these down. Keep people safe. Stay at home. Um, cold. Okay, now is the time to do it. We're going to hit the overdrive. Okay. Um, Medical automatons, maybe... Yeah, let's go for medical automatons. I'm not sure if we'll use it, but... Actually, if we did, I can take that automaton, move him over somewhere that's freezing. And that's fine, because it won't care. Uh, I think? Hmm. It won't care, but the patients might. <laughs> okay, so we should have enough... Okay, let's just turn that on. Wasn't sure why this one's... F oh, six, sick absentees. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Doesn't look like anywhere else is freezing at the moment. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're gonna put another infirmary there. That'll cost another... <sighs> another one. Um... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Make our medical automatons more efficient. Uh, when that gets built, we'll move that guy over from the, um, the wall drill. Um, we're still, at the moment, still slightly out, uh, outpacing our coal consumption. Why are you standing... Guys. Oh. Why are... It's minus 110. It's actually kind of hard to fathom just exactly how cold that is. You know, we're now 20 degrees colder than the, the coldest recorded temperature ever on Earth. And you guys are standing outside. I mean, I understand these guys are walking somewhere, like to the cookhouse or to work or something. Well, I guess you guys are my 11. <laughs> Maybe it's my fault. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I guess technically that means they're at home, right? So they should be warm at home, because home's warm. Right? Okay, here we go. Next temperature drop. This will get, what, one more drop, so minus 120. Good grief. Um, once work time starts... Um, probably gonna turn off the overdrive just so that it's heating when they're at home because I don't know how many more day uh, okay darkness before dawn sir one of our engineers have come crashing through the door the door white face demanding to see you I run the calculations with the new data the storm will pass in a couple of days but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically nothing can prevent us from such cold panic is starting to spread the people are losing all hope. Alright, we have to stay strong. Okay, work time. That's what I was going to say, is that it's going to flick the overdrive. Ooh, too cold. Um, it's going to flick the overdrive so that people... Um, during the day? Would not... Um, uh, oop. It's too cold even out here. Oh boy. Okay. Ah. Uh oh. What now? Yeah, I was gonna say. Worried about the uh, generator getting too overheated. Um, and was going to turn it on and off, but I'll have to see. Okay, what's this? People refuse to work. Um. 
You know what, guys? That's fine. It's it's minus 120 outside. You guys can stay home. If that makes you feel better, that is perfectly all right. Uh, yeah. It is crazy cold. Why does that gathering post not have its heater turned on? Sounds become gravely ill. Oof. Okay. Hope is taking an absolute beating. All those are on cooldown. Let's turn on extra rations again. Let's see if we can clear this up. Nineteen freezing. If I can figure out where. Oh, why do these not have heaters? Why do these not have their heaters on? Okay. I thought I went through and checked. Absolutely everywhere needs to have their heaters on. This is crazy. Okay, that must have been just the last one or two. Consumption is still technically higher. I guess that means what we could do... Let's see, is there any places that we could turn on... Oh yeah, add new research. Is there any places that we can turn on... Put down another steam pump, that's what I'm trying to say, sorry. <laughs> Just, uh, getting so distracted, it's getting so intense. Okay, um, I was also going around making sure the infirmaries were doing the extra food rations. Um, let's get these sick people treated. Looks like we still have room. Um, that house out there is freezing. Okay, and infirmary. Okay, how much is down to 40? I may have to kind of just keep an eye on this. Um, flick it on once work time switches. Okay. Oh, there's a little sun here. Signif three levels. Okay, we're going to hit a minus 150. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. But I'm hoping that little sun means, you know, happy days, storm goes away now. Oh man. With the wind and snow blasting across the screen, I actually thought time was on, on two. Because um, it looked like everything was happening so quickly, but it, it was actually it was just on one. Okay. Well, we've got 35... We had 80 people treated and 35 people not being treated. As far as I can tell, I've got all these on. Oh, there's one that doesn't. Okay, let's get that. Let's put these people to work. Uh, there's a thing going on. Um, okay, what's up? Panic spreads. Even more people abandon their workplaces. They're completely petrified. You know what? Let them stay home. That's okay. The, um... Yeah, the overdrive is functioning. We're at 83%. We're going to have to turn this off soon. Okay. running kind of the razor's edge here. I'm not sure what else I can do to keep people warm and and healthy. Um, good thing is we've got coal, we've got food, it's just a matter of keep, keeping people alive, really. Let's look, yeah, so the generator is cooling off. It seemed like Oh, there's one. I heard, I heard one, and I couldn't see it. Miracles happen, sir. It's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He says that he found her soon after leaving the city, but they got lost and had to wait to lull in the blizzard to find their way back. Both exhausted and 
frostbitten, but very happy. Wow, that is a miracle. Wow. Fear of storm work ceases. Sir, most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, fighting with whatever bring, whatever the end will bring. You have to stay strong. Yep, that is completely fine. It is bonkers. It's gonna get colder. Ugh, stress level's critical. Oh boy. Let's turn it off for a moment. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna turn it back on and just stare at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everything's frozen and shut down, basically. Um, we're gonna try. Here, let's. Extra rations should be up. Where are all my infirmaries? One, two, three. The other two, there's two over here. Oh, that one's still on cooldown. That one. And that one. There we go. Oh, I heard another ding. Turn off the overdrive. I see. Yep. 96%. We're gonna turn it off. Oh my gosh, it's on her. Minus 150. Okay. Almost all the infirmaries. Oh dear. Okay. We're just gonna. Oh my gosh. 118 sick people and everything's shut down and frozen. Let this cool down a little bit more and then we're gonna fire it up again. <laughs> we're just gonna toggle it between like 90 and 95. Okay, 90. Turn it on. Oh, everyone's freezing. Got people unable to be tended. We did it! Storm ends! Okay. Temperature is rising rapidly. Let's shut that down. Okay. Oh, and we are treated to cinematic. It's over. I cannot believe it. It's over. We survived. We made it. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. We have survived! Well, I need to put a damper on it, but I don't imagine that there's any food out there to hunt anymore. Just saying. Oh, neat! Ah, oh, it's a time lapse of our city. We started as a small society. Some refugees. 80 people. No food. Old habits. Oh, look at us go. Yeah, this is definitely our city. Neat. When sickness hit us. We refuse to give up on anyone. Every day was a struggle. I think this is around the time where I put down too many uh, <laughs> steam hubs and had to turn them off and move them. Uh, masses of sick emergency shifts. We didn't actually do any emergency shifts. Yet, I think haven't crossed the line. Faith give us strength, we survived. Alright. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Wow, that was really intense at the end. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. That was awesome. So... I'm thinking at the moment, I don't think I'll do arcs or refugees scenarios, but I may do... There's another uh, new scenario coming out somewhere on the horizon that they've said, uh, The Builders. 
I may do a let's play of that. We'll see. Let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.